Batum, Batum is very important. I know we need money. But it is very important that when you meet service providers in which you're doing business with, make it a point that there is a contract. That is where the problem is. That is why we cannot progress. You want me to assist you, but when I don't want to pay for my services. Pay for my services so that I can provide good services. It's a very simple thing. All right. Um, again. <laughs> For the purposes of time, we have to go into like a, a lunch stretch break now. Um, can we get a final question um, from you, and then we can wrap There's, up this session? Can we? There's can still we, more. Okay, two more. Yeah. Two more. Two more. Thank you. Okay. Sure. You can start sharing, man. Thank you very much. Um, you mentioned the issue of contracts. Um, recently, like I mentioned before, I have a consulting company. So recently, I we had a project. I uh, did a feasibility study of some um, mining company somewhere. So me and the guy, um, he is the one um, who has the job. So he came for me for my expertise in some of the areas. So he offered me an NDA. So now. There was, there was no notary, like a, a third person to witness um, the contract. So I want to ask as to um, the validity of the non-disclosure agreement, because you mentioned the issue of um, contracts. So there is no notary involved. Is the NDA valid? Yeah, Yeah, You know, uh, uh, um, I want to ask you a question when you doubt the nature of the contract. Is the involvement of a notary one of the requirements for one to have a contract? It is not. What are the contents in which you are agreeing on? Is it, a contract is a very simple thing. You know, when I draft contract, I speak a very simple language. I, company A, I contract with company B, one, two, three, four, five. The law advises us not to use jargon, to be confused. Don't sign a contract because of it is written in a jargon or legal language. You sign something you don't understand. You return it to say, please, please, clarify this. So that you sign, forget about the terms. If the terms in which you are agreeing on are the terms in which you are happy and satisfied, and they are clearly stipulated, you know, into technology transfer, we see that we argue and debate about these things each and every day. And you are a student, you can come to our office each and every day. So that we look at whatever you are coming on. It's a very simple thing. If you are happy, if you are saying you are going to do one, two, three, four, five, he's going to do one, two, three, four, five. Is this what you are coming on? Yes. Is the language clear enough for you as an adult to sign the contract and consent to all the uh, terms and details of the contract? And you say yes, that's it. You want to spend more money to the notary as a specialist? Good luck. Thank you. Ma'am. Okay, uh, I want to ask in regards to the Poppy Act, right? Being a training uh, service provider, right? We have to make our learners sign a, a confidentiality form and Poppy Act that we give them the right to see, uh, to get the uh, physical address and so forth, and of late. They need to sign for taking their pictures. So today, in such a setup, were we supposed to sign something like a poppy act or to say that we give you permission to take a photo of us? Or how does that work in such a, a, a setting? And then also just the second one is that I have a portal. I haven't paid, I didn't patent it because it's not something that's new. And, but I proposed it to my client and I didn't make them sign an NDA. And then I'm finding out now that they're doing exactly the same idea proposed to them. Can I sue them? I've got everything on email. I recorded the, the, the 
team's meeting, uh, would it be valid? Uh, my colleague is Jimmy. And when we talk about the Poppy Act, we talk about the most abuse legislation. And most of us have never read it. We just hear about it and then we abuse it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you RSVP this function, you know that there will be pictures taken of you. Mm -hmm. By RSVP, you're concerned yeah. to the activities that are going to unfold within this function. Mm -hmm. that is, that is, um, remember, we are saying for the purpose of that. Uh, should we be seeing that um, they are infringing your morality, morally anyway, your picture is elsewhere, not near this, then that is where you can be able to take bigger action. Yes, um, there is a guy by the name of Taba, um, when I was in tutorial working there, he has developed an app. When uh, that app was a contract management system, public transport management system. The same thing that he did. He made a presentation to the Department of Transport of County without signing any uh, non-disclosure agreement. And they said to him, please bring all the documents so that when we take this, it was original to the provincial and speak to our directors, uh, we will be in a better position to explain and to further elaborate on how your method is going to work, right? And out of desperation, because of he was in need of money to implement the method, he took all the documents and gave it to the Houghton Department of uh, uh, Transport. Unfortunately, uh, they said no to him. After a year and a half, the method was implemented. The source code and everything. Unfortunately. Then we had to take a, a case on a pro bono. Uh, on a pro bono. It was a serious case, but on a pro bono. Because of his our brother, who is in business and who not understanding legal things. Because of legal inter interpreters, they don't wait. But when there are problems, interpreters go to lawyers. That is where the problem is. Then what we have done, we had to prove meetings that took place, the day in which he sent emails, stuff like that. That evidence was enough for us to prove our case. But the problem was one. Well. The transport system, because of it was not owned by the Department of Health and Transport, it was not properly implemented. As such, it failed within a year. And when we were taking up the case, the case had something like two years. So we could not even establish how much it saves for the it saved for the Department of Transport. We won the case, but unfortunately, only peanuts were paid to you. So yes, you've got a case, you can use that. So it is very important. Uh, my, my colleague always says, when I write an email, I write numbers which is unprofessional. I said, I explained last time to you, to say, you don't understand. I write number one, I acknowledge the receipt of your email, two, so, you know what I'm doing? Yeah. I am simply saying that, I am dissecting every aspect of our conversation. Should we have any problem, or you don't know because we are not a buyer. When you have a problem, I'll say, on this day, I send an email to you on this time, uh, stipulate one paragraph, yeah. which dealt with <laughs> I dealt with you. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very simple thing. Yeah. You understand? And when we say we are going to have a meeting with Mr. Mama, you simply say, oh, uh, Mr. Skosana, I acknowledge the invitation of the meeting. Two, in the meeting, one, two, three, four, five is going to be discussed. Three, uh, I understand that you are not comfortable with signing the non disclosure agreement. However, this email, I'm sending to you. Acknowledging it will be saying that I acknowledge <laughs> that you have agreed to not, to not disclose. You don't have money at that point in time. And the meeting is happening tomorrow. You don't have a document. When he acknowledges to have you in his office, he simply says that I acknowledge 
that I'm going to talk about your business that deals with one, two, three, four, five. You said, if as I as I as I will not fire, you are in trouble. So for that beautiful case, uh, we can come and discuss. Yeah, I think that was the last question. And thank you very much for all. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Yes. Did you want to give um, an opportunity for anyone else to ask a question? Because we are about to be wrapping it up now. You, okay. I'm wrapping it up. It's fine. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you gained something, whether it's insights, whether it's inspiration, whether something, anything to just keep you going uh, in your journey to entrepreneurship. Don't forget, before I announce uh, our break, that we still have speakers that are going to be talking and delivering very important messages for us after the break. We've got Owami, let you as well. Now, let me leave it for later. All I'm going to say is you need to stay tuned. Um, we are going to take an ad break. Um, just a quick one, stretch break, mingling, networking. Patini, uh, it's Linda. Patini, it can't be my so I pay. What is it called again? Okay. It's Linda, it's Linda, it's Linda. Thank you. Yes. It's Linda, it's Linda, it's Linda. Oh, you know, you just pass a straw that you think. Uh, this one is interesting. You might need the products. You might be interested to do business with them. Buy something from our exhibitors. They're here. We're going to have um, some refreshments at the back. And, uh, you know, let's engage. Let's continue to just engage. Uh, let's continue to think about everything that has been spoken on stage. And if you're going to consult the speakers via me, please, for discounts, of course. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's been an amazing, um, and you've been an amazing audience as well. Um, so thank you. Let's just take our break for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes max, toilets, refreshments, some networking, and then we will begin at uh, 1 o'clock. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>